Good evening, folks. I'm Dylan Dubs, and on tonight's episode of Los Santos Most Wanted, Dean Watson, millionaire, philanthropist, wanted man. As of December 20th, 2021, Dean Watson has a warrant out for his arrest for 34 days. The nature of his alleged crimes are currently unknown, and when LSBN reached out to local law enforcement for comment, Sheriff Kyle Pred had only this to say. No one can hide forever. To better understand what it's like for Dean Watson to be on the run for such a long time, LSBN correspondent Charity Damos sat down with two individuals that disguised themselves as Dean Watson and led the police on an epic chase. Uh, hi, I'm Charity Damos, and I'm here today with Claire Seducer and Oakley Stallion to talk about their infamous run from the police while disguised as Dean Watson. Hey guys, I'm glad to have you here today. Thank you so much for having hey. us. We're super excited to be here and retell the livid story that we've been through. Let's start off with a simple question. How long were you guys on the run for? It was a long 45-minute chase. We had two helicopters on us, three interceptors, a motorcycle, multiple other CVPIs. It was, uh, it was quite the experience. How did they finally catch you? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, we were caught around uh, Howick Bank by the pink cage. I had been uh, rammed into a wall. My car had been rammed. disabled, and, and that was it. And we, we started running. Oakley, you know, Oakley, Oakley did the run. Want to tell mm -hmm. them what you did? I ran from the pink cage all the way to Legion Square. I broke cuffs five times in a row over and yep. over. They couldn't get me. Mm -hmm. I'm real slippery yeah. with it. Yeah. And uh, while you were on the run like that, um, did the police suspect that Oakley was not Dean Watson at any point? Not until the very end when they ripped mm -hmm. my mask off. Mm -hmm. How did that feel to have them just rip your mask off like that? It was really good. They just knew that they didn't get who they wanted. It was funny. What was the biggest challenge you faced while you were um, trying to convince them you were <sighs> running with Dean? So we were using Dean Watson's green uh, car. So it was very bright, very hard to not notice. His license plate was actually Dean W. So I'm pretty sure they really thought it was him. Uh, we were, you know, spike. They tried to spike us multiple times, tried to pit us into walls. At one point, you know, we were boxed in and we thought it was over. Um, but, you know, I, I got us out of there in, t in the nick of time. Do you have any tips you'd want to give someone else on the run from police to help them maybe, uh, you know, do as well as you did? Well, you know, I'd love to, to help them out, but I uh, can't reveal my secrets, you know? I can't have another Claire out there trying to drive away from the cops like I do. That's understandable for sure. Well, thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having Thank us. Thank you. We appreciate this opportunity. As police ramp up their attempts to track down and apprehend Dean Watson, LSBN sat down with current warrant record holder, Randy Bullet, to see what Dean Watson has to do if he truly wants to become Los Santos Most Wanted. I'm here today with Randy Bullet, who currently holds the record for longest time on the run from police. How are you doing today, Mr. Bullet? I'm doing exquisite. Thank you so much for having me, Charity. Shout out to Dodo Logistics. Shout out to the Bullet Club. Been waiting eight months for it, but yeah, shout out to that company as well. All right, um, so I've already said that you have the record for longest time on the run. Do you want to tell us how long that was? So I was actually on the run for 3.6 to 9E plus 6 seconds, which converted to days is 42 days. That's a really long time. What was it like to be on the run for that long? Being on the run was so fun. I enjoyed every second of it. Oh, yeah? What kind of experiences did you have with that? Did you, like, hide? Were you just, like, flaunting it in the police's Hiding. face? How did that go? <laughs> well, my Dean Watson, man, I don't hide from the police. I stare them right in the face. And then I vanished like Houdini in front of them. While I was on the run for 42 days, I was doing everything I possibly could. From vaults to politos to fleekers. Daily, every day, money trucks. Whether it was robbing the farmer's market. Dean's world was getting emptied out. Everything you could rob in the city, I was doing while on the run for 42 days straight. And I was never caught. I even, believe this or not, had air one on me. Eight cops chasing me. All I needed was my underwear and donuts. And I was gone. On foot. Boom, lost air one and eight cops in my underwear. Have a good one. 
that honestly sounds really stressful to me. Did you uh, have any like emotional issues with that? Did it like make you stressed out? Did it make you worried? Or were you just always 100% confident that you were going to stay away? Well, Lily Pond actually once told me that I have no emotions and I'm, I'm an emotionless uh, dickhead, which I mean, I have to agree with. And to be honest, being on the run for 42 days, killing cops with AKs, one tapping cops in the humane labs, dropping them outside fleekers with one taps, them they that's not stressful. That's what you call a nice massage in Thailand. You know what I'm saying? It's very relaxing, it's beautiful. It's like having a happy ending without paying for it. What about, you know, when you were running from police, how many times did they almost catch you? Was there ever a time that was really close and you were worried you might get caught? Well, there was this one incredible incident. It was the first Polito ever to be here. I hacked into that bank, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, four, three, one, two, six times, got into that, and we got into a shootout on the highway, which led to, eventually led to Little Soul. And there was Cornwood in the middle of the road. All my boys were down, all four of them, or three of them. Mr. K, Rami, and I believe Vinny, down. And I didn't know what to do. I was on the roof. I saw Cornwood, his big fat head. I shot him in the head and hid in the bush with Air One above me. But Air One's dumb enough, didn't even find me, and I still escaped. So there's been very uh, close encounters. But, I mean, honestly, like I said, it just uh, rushes the blood to the penis more. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh, so, you know, you were talking, like, you know, they never caught you. So does that mean you just completely outran your warrant then? Oh, this this happened like uh, nine months ago. So yeah, warrant done. Everything was over. Didn't get charged for any of it. And since it's been over nine months now, anything I have spoken on on this uh, podcast here today, uh, they can't charge me for. So have a fucking good one, Sam Bass. Uh, do you have any tips you'd give to people maybe to be as cool and awesome as you? I'm not really cool or awesome, but my number one tip is just avoid the police. I mean, it's not a bad tip for anybody, really. Yeah, see, the thing is, I'll be honest. I'm a man of honor, a man of dignity. And I, I would like to call myself the savior. And the reason I like to save people is not because I'm worried about them getting arrested, time and fine. I like helping anyone, anytime, any place, whether they need a pickup, whether they need to be uncuffed, whether they need to get shot in the head, because I truly believe that no one should suffer. No one should go through the pain of talking to police and getting arrested and being sent to prison. If I can remove that factor out of people's lives, I will save anyone, whether it's Mickey, whether it's, X, whether it's any of my ops, any of the ops lacking out there, I would not want you to suffer by getting arrested and dealing with even talking to police. This is why I do what I do daily, whether I'm helping people from getting the nines, whether I'm saving people from getting arrested, whether it's drug trafficking, raids, I will do anything in my power to make sure that the people do not have to deal with police. So like if Dean Watson called you right now and said, Randy, I'm trying to beat your record and the police are on me, can you save me? Would you do it? Well, the difference is, okay, my record will be untouched because every single day, I didn't hide like Escobar. I wasn't hiding like Dean Watson. I was out there face to face. I was the Escobar that was outside the White House when he was truly wanted. That is what I did. I didn't hide. I didn't change the skies. I had my beautiful white hair, my beard, and my dodo bird by my side, and we got away every single time. Awesome. I'm really happy for your time today, Randy. Thanks so much for coming to talk to me. Of course, anytime. Rumors swirl that tuner shop owner Eddie Marshall may have had something to do with Dean Watson's disappearance. LSBN has put together reenactments of what that hypothetical rumor may have looked like. Gosh, I can't wait to give this $69 million to save orphans with alopecia. Oi, bruv. I need to get this ship in a blinker fluid for me new tuna cars. I do, I do. Ah! Oi, bollocks! Researchers at LSBN have compiled data and formed reenactments of what the most possible outcome is for Dean Watson since he hasn't been found in 34 days. Oh no, look! It's a turtle caught in an illegal fisherman's net. I gotta go save it. Oh no, Deedee Weedy, look out, there's a shark! I'm Dean Watson and I'm being chased. Uh... I'll give you a million dollars not to eat me. I was gonna use this money to plant a million trees in Sandy Shores. We 
to leave you now with comments from the citizens of Los Santos. I'm Dylan Dubs, and this has been Los Santos Most Wanted. How do you feel about Dean Watson's 32-day run from the police? Oh shit, good for him. Honestly, it's a little concerning that the cops can't catch him. It's been 32 days. Uh, if he's that slippery, then... Honestly, let him go. Honestly, I'm jealous. That's some fucking king shit right there. He is on it. They can't find him. They can't catch him. Good for him. What a king. I want to suck Dean Watson's dick so hard.